<clears throat> Hello everybody, Catman here. Sitting in my truck, backed up to the muddy, flooded ramp here in Erie, Illinois. Just getting ready to drop the G3 in the water. Gonna do some winter catfishing. Uh, the fish now, the water's up to about 35 degrees, so the fish are still in their winter holes. Uh, but it won't be long now. We got some 60s forecasted for next week that you're going to start to see them fish transition And you're going to see some stay in the hole for a little bit longer than others And you're going to see a lot of them start to moving up on the flats, which we've already started to see a little bit of that But not enough to get all excited about I'm kind of hoping for one more round of flooding, which would be perfect But you know our weather in Illinois is never perfect. Well anywhere in the country for that matter. So uh, So what we're gonna do today is get back on the winter fish they've really stacked up on the ledges now and uh, it's really awesome uh, winter fishing I wanted to cover some of the things that I uh, that I use when I do this again I know you've seen it in, in other videos and stuff but this is a new year so this is a new video uh, Matt Zuo hooks I know everybody gets on the internet and they talk about this hook and that like everybody's got their little pocket of buddies and all that good stuff uh, First off, these aren't a remake of somebody else's hook that we slapped a new name on and, you know, and gave it some exciting jack, ripper, quadruple action hook, okay? Uh, Matt Zool hooks, the sickle hook style, uh, has the little plug at the bottom of the hook that really allows your hook tip to stay out off your bait a little bit, uh, whether you're using live baits, cut baits, whatever you're using. It's a great, great bait uh, I use them I use in seven knots I've used I use up to 15 16 inch 17 inch live baits um, with the seven knot mat zoo uh, and then when I'm channel cat fishing in the summertime using bigger pieces of cut bait I'm using a four knot uh, winter fishing like I'm gonna be doing today I'm gonna be using a two knot uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna be running 10 12 inch liters today with crane swivels uh, I really like them. Um, Cajun line as always. Uh, I can put 12 pound Cajun line on and come out here and you know most of the fish I'm going to catch are going to be a pound to uh, six eight pounds. Uh, but you know if I hooked into a flathead, which every winter you do, uh, you'll have one laying there on the bottom and you'll run some red worms or a piece of cut shad up on his lips and he'll just suck it in. You a lot of times you don't even know you got him. Uh, you know, you go to pick up your rod, whatever, and there's a bunch of weight there. You set a hook, and it ends up not being a snag, but <laughs> one of my buddies. Uh, but even with 12 pound line in open water, with as long as it's Cajun. Uh, now, remember something a lot of you guys here obviously, you're on the internet, uh, being that you're on YouTube. I want to tell you something. I've been part of the catfish community on the internet for about 10 to 12 years now. Uh, there's a lot of guys on the internet giving a lot of information about a lot of things, a lot of stuff, okay? Well, believe me, you, a lot of them guys don't fish all that much. They spend a lot of time on the computer reading, or they got buddies that tell them this, or they got buddies that tell them that. I'm telling you, I spent, I spent all my time on the river, people know me that do that. Because I say something is the best or great or something, does that mean it's true? Yeah, it means it's true. Uh, that's what I use, that's what I believe is the best. That's coming from somebody that's on the water 120 to 140 days a year using the stuff. I guide people, okay? I can't afford to lose fish, to miss fish, to break fish off. I can't afford that stuff. I've built my business and my reputation on landing fish for clients okay I'm not some Joe Blow that that uh, got on the internet and calls him this and catches one nice fish and all of a sudden you know he's been fishing for 30 years and knows everything there is about it these are tried and true methods tried and true tackle and products that I use because when a, when a rod goes down I know all that remains in that fight is my skill if I lose that fish it's going to be something I did or some uncontrollable force of nature uh, it's not going to be my line breaking it's not going to be the hook it's not going to be the swivel it's not going to be the rod the reel I know with confidence 
that I can put a rod in the hand of a young person that has no experience on a 40 pound flathead and they're gonna land that fish okay now you can take that as for whatever you want to take it for okay in this situation however like I said we're gonna be using Matzul hooks two watts uh, I'm gonna be using Polecat custom rods and some quantum rods uh, some of my uh, when the when the bite is really really light I got to go to a I go to a really really small uh, rod an IM six graphite about six and a half seven feet uh, otherwise I'm using about a seven and a half foot polecat custom rod channel cat style which is what I call it uh, it's a really good rod for the situation I'm gonna be using one to two out or one to two ounce uh, no roll sinkers uh, depending on how aggressive the bite is and how much I want my bait to slip uh, I'm gonna be fishing a big eddy situation today and by what I mean by slip is I'm actually gonna be sitting in by the bank casting across the water that is flowing upstream into the water that's flowing downstream and so when I talk about slip what I mean is when that sinker hits the bottom you have a certain amount of resistance on your line thus the small line the smaller diameter line what I like I don't want it to drag my bait really fast the water's 35 the fish are hungry but they're not super super aggressive so I want the bait to move a little bit but I don't want it to move real fast. So if that means I've got to use an ounce and a half to get that slow drag stop, slow drag stop, that's the action I'm looking for to trigger these fish, okay? Uh, if two ounces it doesn't let it move, which means I'm gonna to have to hit the fish on the head every time to get bites, I don't want that. Uh, one ounce, the bait moves like this and it's gone, and it's pulled all the way up onto the ledge already, I don't want that, okay? Uh, so your line diameter and your sinker size are really really crucial to getting the right action you want for semi lethargic fish okay so pay attention to that the thicker the line the more drag you get on your line so you got to match your your sinker your line all up there with the rod action to get just what you want for these fish uh, i'm going to be using today all quantum reels uh, I like their low profile bait casting reels simply because I can throw them a mile if I want to uh, and a lot of days when you're fishing a big hole uh, and the school of fish can be moving around you know instead of re-anchoring 15 times I can cast one time 10 yards the next time 40 yards the next time 20 yards over here and I can literally find the fish by casting instead of re-anchoring uh, it's a lot easier to throw a bait a little bit further each time and find fish or whatnot than it is to pick up anchor move pick up anchor move okay trying to be some work smarter not harder um, obviously uh, I fish out you know my g3 back here love the boat driftmaster rod holders are perfect for this situation I got uh, four t500s in my boat which for me is the way I like to fish I know a lot of guys like to run the big system across the back and stuff like that that's great uh, me personally I leave my back end open as much as I can because I'm I got inexperienced people fighting big flatheads a lot and I need that back open not only for the for the person fighting the fish but for me to be able to work the fish move the line away from the motors and land the fish by hand which is the way real men do things uh, so uh, that's the way I roll. I use the uh, Pro Series Duos. Uh, you're not going to bend one. You're not going to break one. Uh, you're not going to find a better family of people that make rod holders on the planet. Uh, you know, he makes his crappy rod holders are crappy, as they say down south. Uh, his rod holders suit a lot, a lot of people. Whether it's the three eighths or the half inch, it doesn't matter. Um, they're, they're the best. They're the best. They're they're the most reliable. They're the most time-tested rod holders on the market. Period. Okay. So if I, you know, if you ask me, hey, Cat Matt, what would you use for a rod holder? I'm going to tell you, Driftmaster every time. That's not because he sponsors us. It doesn't matter to me. I really don't give a crap who sponsors me. Uh, to be honest with you, um, once I find something that works really, really well, I, I hate to change. Matter of fact, I, I never want to change. Uh, sometimes things happen and it makes it necessary to change but as far as I'm concerned I'll be I'll be running uh, Driftmaster rod holders until I'm done fishing uh, so in short in case I haven't missed it you know I'm here on the Rock River it's uh, March 
20 okay uh, we'll go with that March 20 something and uh, it's supposed to be 39 degrees today it's about 32 now uh, I'm gonna get the boat in the water I'm gonna get up get set up and try to do some filming catching some fish today um, you know it's not as easy to do it alone as it is with with somebody with you but anymore it seems like we have so much fun when we go fishing together that we never end up getting a camera out so uh, one more thing I want to mention to you is the Prophet Pride Gills Bills and Outdoor Thrill Show coming to Provincetown in January of 2014 if you're interested in and being a vendor there or a sponsor there, you know, you can get a hold of me at 815-590-1469. Also, uh, this is going to be one show where it's not going to be dominated by bass lures and insurance agents, okay? Sure, there will be some of that stuff there, but there's, we've already got bow and arrow companies on board. We've already got turkey calls on board. We've got catfish. We're going to have a lot of catfish supplies there, not only at the Catfish Academy booth, but other booths. You know we're gonna have ATVs and three-wheelers and G3 boats and all kinds of good stuff taxidermists and the list goes on and on and on we're gonna have great uh, seminars by uh, really 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 great uh, person and smallmouth fisherman John Graham I'm gonna be doing some seminars on catfishing like we're you know the same kind of catfishing we're doing today uh, trapping anyway I could go on and on which I usually do uh, but now at this particular moment, it's time to go catfish, so I will see you at the catfish hole.